Okay, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and it's been about a couple of months since Apple dropped the public beta of macOS Big Sur, which is their next version of their macOS operating system. And the feature or the two features which I was the most excited about was focus support for Netflix and YouTube through Safari. And I've said this countless times and I'll say it again. I am a huge AV nerd and I'm obsessed with HDR, with surround sound and resolutions and codecs. And these types of videos are my favorite to make. And as soon as uh, the public beta for Big Sur dropped, I installed it immediately on my external SSD and I'm booted up and running Mac OS Big Sur on my 2018 13 inch MacBook Pro. And I was really curious that how good is the 4K gonna look? Is it available for all devices? How does the YouTube 4K compete with Chrome's 4K and all the performance and efficiency related things? All of that I have tested and we'll find out in this video. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is that Twitter is a magical place. I mean, I tweeted out this screen recording of uh, one of those tests I did with YouTube playing on Chrome and Safari with on Big Sur and that was seen by a bunch of WebKit engineers from at Apple and also Chrome engineers and I reached out to both of them, I got in touch with them, asked them a lot of questions uh, and they were really kind enough to answer me and taking all that information and I just coded up this simple web tool called Video Verbose. It will just give you all details about the video playback capabilities and the media capabilities of your browser and device combo. You can check it out, I'll leave the link and also the, the source code link in GitHub. Everything will be linked down below. And yeah, I'll be using that for testing out uh, the official capabilities, how everything performs with Safari 14 on Big Sur. Also, not gonna lie, it was pretty cool to actually talk to the engineers and the people behind all these great products we uh, use every day and take for granted. So that was a pretty good experience. Now let's talk about Netflix first. Now with macOS, Big Sur and Safari, you can now watch 4K content natively through the browser itself. And mind you that this is not available for everyone. This is only available for Macs released in 2018 or later, specifically with the T2 chip and also Intel's KB Lake HTCP 2.2. And this is honestly a big deal. Up till now, if you wanted to watch 4K content from Netflix, on a computer, your only your only bet was to use Windows and the Windows 10 app and Old Edge, but that's now gone. So your only way to watch 4K content on a PC was through the Windows 10 app. But now with Safari on Mac OS Big Sur, now you can, and it's a huge step uh, with regards to you know playing back legal content on your computer uh, in full 4K. So that's pretty nice. The Apple TV app still doesn't allow you to uh, stream 4K content unless you have 4K screen, but there is nothing like that. Even if you have a Quad HD MacBook or a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, which was released after 2018, you can actually watch 4K content. Okay, now let's talk about how the 4K actually looks. Honestly, it's actually pretty good. It's a huge jump from uh, the 1080p content you're used to from Catalina or Mojave and on a nice screen uh, with the 2560 by 1600 screen on my MacBook, there was a definite jump in detail and it was constantly running at 2160p throughout at a pretty good uh, bit rate. And you can definitely notice that that increased detail density and you can appreciate that detail even though you're not watching it pixel for pixel in a native 4K screen. And I mean, you could argue that Netflix 4K is not all that great. Uh, if you compare it to Blu-rays or like 4K straight out of cameras, yeah, I mean, it's gonna fall apart in all those scenarios. But for, you know what, as compared to 1080p streaming from like Catalina, uh, it's actually a huge jump and you can definitely notice the difference. Now talking about HDR or uh, Dolby Vision specifically, since that's Apple's or Netflix de facto standard for HDR. Well, Netflix actually added HDR support, Dolby Vision support earlier this year with macOS Catalina and Safari itself, but capped at 1080p. So if you're already are on Catalina, you can check that out. Uh, but yeah, also I forgot to mention if you want to experience any of these things, 4K HDR, all these things will require the highest end Netflix plan, the Ultra HD premium plan. But honestly, 
एच डी आर और डोल विजन एटलीस्ट ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स एंड ऑन दिस मैक बुक डजेंट रियली मेक दैट मच ऑफ अ डिफरेंस बिकॉज आई मीन द बेस्ट थिंग यू कैन नोटिस इफ यू कंपेयर साइड बाई साइड इज दैट द ग्रीन्स आर बिट मोर नुआंस्ड एंड द रेड्स आर अ लिटल बिट मोर यू नो बैलेंस्ड एंड डायनामिक रेंज इज सॉर्ट ऑफ इनक्रीज एंड ऑल दैट बट इफ यू आई मीन बाई जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट द वीडियो इट सेल्फ यू वोट बी एबल टू टेल इफ इट्स एन एच डी आर वीडियो बट इफ यू लुक एट अ फो के वीडियो यू कैन एक्चुअली टेल दैट समथिंग इज डेफिनेटली अप समथिंग इज डेफिनेटली रियली हाई क्वालिटी अबाउट दैट वीडियो एंड आई थिंक दैट्स रियली गुड नाउ लेट्स टॉक एफिशंसी एंड दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑफन टाइम्स यू विल बी वॉचिंग योर फेवरेट मूवी और टी वी शो आउट ऑफ नेटफ्लिक्स इन फुल फो के आउट ऑफ बैटरी पावर ऑफ योर मैक बुक लेट्स से सो इन कैटली नाउ विद ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ऑफ टेन एडी पी डो प्रोविजन कॉन्टेंट द बैटरी विल ड्रॉप फ्रॉम हंड्रेड परसेंट टू अबाउट एटी एटी नाइन परसेंट एंड विद फो के डो प्रोविजन कॉन्टेंट ऑन बिग सर द बैटरी विल ड्रॉप फ्रॉम वन हंड्रेड परसेंट टू टू एटी सेवन परसेंट सो दैट जस्ट अ टू परसेंट डीक्रीज नॉट नॉट अ बिग डील आई गैस इट्स सेफ टू से दैट फो के प्ले बैक इज एज एफिशेंट एज टेन एडी पी प्ले बैक एंड दस अज डील एंड एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट मेक्स फॉर अ प्रिटी ऑप्टिमाइज एंड प्रिटी प्लेजेंट स्ट्रीम एक्सपीरियंस ऑल दो वन थिंग टू नोट इज दैट डोल बी एटमो सपोर्ट और फाइव पॉइंट वन और एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ सराउंड साउंड सपोर्ट इज मिसिंग राइट नाउ वे समथिंग विच विंडोज अगेन एक्सेल्स एट सो इफ यू इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट योर मैक टू एन ए वी रिसीवर और एनी थिंग एनी साउंड बार और टी वी विच एक्चुअली सपोर्ट डोल बी एटमोस यू कैन नॉट लाइक सफारी वॉन्ट पास थ्रू डोल बी एटमोस सिग्नल्स जस्ट येट और यूज इट्स बिल्ट इन स्पीकर टू वर्चुअलाइज दैट साउंड uh and that kind of sucks i really wish that netflix just went all out and made a native app for mac os uh and we'll see uh, when that happens now let's talk about youtube finally apple after all these years finally added support for the vp9 codec which enables 4k support on youtube and if you use my app my uh, website and on big sur with safari it will show that it supports that vp9 codec and because of that youtube 4k is now supported now i really don't want to sound like an apple fanboy and making a big deal out of it since like 4k youtube support has been there in chrome since like forever and you also might think that chrome might outdo safari in terms of 4k youtube playback because it's a google developed browser playing videos of a google own website no it was until i tested chrome and safari both playing back youtube 4k videos i realized that safari is miles better and so much more efficient than chrome so i tested them i took a couple of videos uh, two from mkbhd 4k 30p videos and one from jerry rig everything 4k 60 videos total to about 30 minutes the battery went from 100% to 77% and meanwhile fan spin up cpu usage is, uh, is somewhere around 150% to 300% and in safari in on big sur battery usage went from 100% to 88% that's 12% drop and cpu usage was constant at like 25% at max that's a lot of difference now here's the thing why is there such a big difference between chrome and safari why is chrome so inefficient while safari is well two words hardware acceleration Apparently the engineers at Apple at WebKit told me that Safari uses hardware acceleration wherever possible. And if you're not sure what hardware acceleration actually is, well chip makers like Intel or AMD or whoever uh they actually build in support for hardware codecs, so like hardware encoders and decoders which will uh, do all the processing with video playback and also encoding video. and uh, intel with quick sync builds in uh, hardware codecs for vp9 h264 and with recent chips h265 and safari actually leverages that hardware acceleration using something called the video toolbox framework which is used by final cut pro and all other editing software and chrome just doesn't do that chrome uses software uh, encoding and decoding which is super taxing on the processor and not very efficient and you know what that's actually like one real example one of the inner workings of what is called apple's optimization and it actually shines a lot when it comes to streaming video from the internet and given its hardware acceleration and its new added 4k playback support safari actually becomes 
my preferred browser only for watching video. Now, yes, Chrome is not really the best uh, browser when it comes to watching content. Netflix doesn't really play in HD at all. It's capped at 720p because Chrome doesn't support Wideband L1. That sucks. And now 4K playback on Chrome is apparently so inefficient. That sucks too. But I'm just so used to Chrome. I've used it for like almost 10 years now. I don't even know. All of my passwords and uh, bookmarks, everything, all of these things. I'm just so dependent upon Google uh, apps and services. I'm so sucked into their ecosystem that it's going to be a really hard switch. And also given uh, like developer tools like React, DevTools and all those console and Chrome's developer mode is generally very friendly for developers. Although I'd combine it, I'll probably stick to Chrome for a while, but if I want to consume content, I'll probably fire up Safari. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. This was again a pretty exhaustive video uh, about the nitty gritty details of uh, watching 4K content on Safari 14 on Mac OS Big Sur. So yeah, thumbs up if you learned something. Subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.